Welcome, Cappies. I'm back, y'all. I am back with another video. Yeah. I'm just burning up some sage here. Yes. But I'm back. Okay. So this video here is going to be for November the 17th through the 25th. Okay. All right, so let's talk, guys. Let's see what we got going on, what's going on with my cappies. If you are new to my channel, guys, welcome. I would love to have you here. Go ahead and click the subscribe button, okay? So you don't miss out on future videos. Click that bell so you won't so you can be a part of the notification game. Cause you can subscribe, but if you don't click the bell, then how you gonna know when I go live or when I post? Okay. <laughs> so let's get into it, Capricorns. This is for November 17th through the 25th. We're gonna see what weekly message we have for you. Okay. So what's going on with my cappies? What messages are there for my Capricorns? <laughs> Capricorns. Capricorn. All right. Mm, interesting guys interesting okay so at the bottom here we got the strength card which is leo's energy okay so you could be dealing with the leo um or you just having the confidence okay to walk away from a situation that's no longer serving you um i'm getting that something it was some type of competition here okay some type of competition, something about winning a battle. Let's see. <laughs> What's going on, Capricorns? Okay. What message do we have here for my cats? <laughs> we got the Eight of Swords, okay? Are some of y'all afraid? To move on from a situation that's no longer serving you, okay? Whatever it is, it's burden, okay? It's a burden, okay? It's causing too much strain. It's a lot, okay? This person is carrying all these sticks, all these, these wands by themselves, okay? And they look like they're struggling, okay? But a lot of getting, a lot of y'all could be dealing with the Leo because we've got the sun card here. Um, The nine of wands. Is you know when you're guarded, you got your guard up, okay? You're watching something. You're watching to see how someone feels. <laughs> okay, you're watching to see how someone feels about something. Okay. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, what is this Five of Swords energy? There's some type of battle or disagreement or rebuttal or some type of, you know, could be some spiteful energy going on here. But this came out with the Nine of Pentacles. Somebody could be jealous. Um, I'm getting that energy as well. Somebody said something like surprising. Maybe you're trying to stay to yourself. We got the Nine of Cups. I'm getting wish you would have stayed somewhere. <laughs> I'm getting home. Let's see. Two of Swords. Okay. And the Six of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. 
Why is the Eight of Swords here? Some of y'all wish that you would have stayed single. <laughs> um, there's something that you're uncertain about. Maybe you have two people that you can't choose between. Okay, I'm seeing that as well. Yeah, see the Three of Swords is wanting it. It just came out. Okay. You could be like dealing with, you know, you could be a part of a third party situation. And yeah, see, we got the Fool, which is Aries energy and the queen of wands you could be dealing with the aries but i keep getting like some of y'all doing with the fire sign okay that's a part of like a third party eight of swords king of pentacles you got this energy Why do y'all feel stuck? Yeah, the nine of swords. Like, y'all are in y'all head a lot about walking away, okay? About leaving uh, three of pentacles and the queen of cups. You could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There could be a marriage here, okay? There could be a divorce, talks of divorce, or a separation but i'm getting like you got some options maybe you're thinking about cutting off some options okay because i got the seven of cups and the lovers definitely some options here but i don't feel like you you know you're you don't really want to with the four of cups okay okay i'm getting like you don't want somebody to think something or don't don't want somebody to see that you're in a relationship you don't want people to see that you're in a relationship but i'm getting like you you're getting ready to try something new you got the ace of cups okay yeah so you're getting ready to try something new but i think you're kind of like nervous i'm getting nervous i feel like some of y'all are thinking like you know should I stay single or should I, you know, try something new? Why is the Six of Swords here? Hangman. Hey, okay, so this has been on hold on how to move, you know, how to move. You may have thought that this person moved on from you. But they may haven't. You may have thought that you were over this person, but I'm not sure if you are. Okay, because it's just still kind of just hanging in the air. Kind of just like thinking, you know. Will of Fortune, yeah. There's been some changes made, okay. We got the Queen of Cups again. So a lot of you could be dealing with the Water sign and a Fire sign. Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There's love here, okay. But I'm getting like somebody walked away. Like, I'm getting somebody walked away. And the way that they did it, it was real reckless. Like somebody just left reckless. You know, like they... They walked out and it was like really, you know, immature of, of a reason to leave, okay? I'm getting like the light has been shown, like some type of clarity has been given about some type of disagreement. The way that somebody thinks, look at this, King of Swords and the Queen of Swords, both of you guys may have your swords up okay or had your swords up um and it was really like a at a place where you know disappointment there was a lot of disappointments okay there was a lot of disappointments there but i feel like the love was still there okay and now you may feel like you have to cut all of these cut some options off okay Cut some things off, some things that you possibly were doing while you were single, you know, like you have to cut some things off or this person is expecting for you to cut this, cut this off. And, you know, now you're kind of like guarded. Okay. This is you. Okay, Nine of Pentacles. 
So now you could be, you know, really, you know, just focused on yourself, self-care, self-love, you know, working on your finances, getting you together. Here's this Queen of Cups again. A lot of y'all are dealing with the water sign. Uh, I keep getting that. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? The Hermit. Yeah. Some of you, I'm getting single man, single female. Okay. Definitely like a single man. Um, or someone here is very flirty. Or there's just like, you know, you could be, you know, seeing other, you know, seeing other people. But now I'm getting like, someone's going from being single you know, to hopping into this, okay? And I know it's that because we got the two of cups right behind that, okay? So this is a happy relationship, like, happy, go lucky, like, everything is good, good. After a period of being alone and to yourself and, you know, soul searching, The devil wanted to jump out. So, yeah. A lot of you guys were, you know, just single living your life. Or, you know, just, you know, doing you. Yeah, like you've been avoiding conflict. You trying to duck and dodge this energy. Like, you trying to stay away from this. It's too burdensome. It's, it's causing too many problems. Somebody wants a second chance here. And this is on your mind. This is on your mind. Because now somebody wants a second chance. And it's like the high priestess. This is Pisces energy. But it's like intuitively. This person may not tell you that they want a second chance. But you can feel it. Like you could just feel that this person. Somebody does want to come back together. I feel like you. I don't know if you want. You are certain about it. Why is the judgment card here? Page of Pentacles. So there's talks. There's a conversation here. Yes, yeah, start talking. Okay. So Queen of Pentacles, you guys' energy. Yeah, somebody's feeling regretful. I got Leo's energy here. Somebody wants a second chance, but see, I don't feel like you want the I don't feel like you want the second chance with this person. For some of you, you're dealing with a Leo and a water sign. I'm definitely picking up on Leo, for sure, for sure. But I don't think you're too interested in their offer, okay? You don't feel like it's going to be successful. Um, King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Again, like you're trying to, you know, keep things balanced. And you're trying to move forward, okay? You're trying to move forward. Someone here wants a second chance. But see, we got this two of swords over here. We got this two of swords here. Okay. Yeah, you cut somebody off. Okay. Here's this queen of cups again. This queen of cups got a lot to say. Because she's been popping out a lot. Some of y'all are definitely dealing with a queen of cups. If it's not a water sign, she's very loving, caring. He, she, he or she, okay, got the page of cups. Pisces is energy as well. And the three of cups. So I'm getting like you have been having like all of these conversations with this other person, okay. And But I'm just getting like you're not sure who to cut off. In the past, you just like you weren't sure who to cut off. Yeah, didn't I say? The Eight of Cups. This is somebody walking away. Um, you're not sure who to who to cut off, okay? So you may decide, you know, I'm going to wait it out. I'm going to wait it out. I'm going to wait it out. There's that five of swords, okay? Okay, like you're waiting to see what's, what's going to be said, okay? 
something here about working on a relationship or marriage. So maybe you're waiting to see what somebody's going to, people are going to say if you decide to work on some type of relationship or rekindle with somebody. Because you were undecided about who to cut off. But see, for future energy, we got the Six of Pentacles. All right, so let's see what this is about. Okay, I'm getting like you don't want to feel left out in the cold or you're tired of feeling lonely. Um, you got a lot of options. You got a lot of options. That's for sure, for sure. Like, you got plenty of options, for sure. But the truth is, the truth is, who do you really want? Okay, we got the devil here. You got this energy. There could be a marriage here because I keep getting uh, the the four of wands and the ten of swords, okay? There could be a marriage here. Someone here could be married. I just feel like you're tired of feeling lonely. I, I get it. Like you, four of swords, five of pentacles, and the four of cups. You're tired of feeling. Some of y'all feel depressed or sad about something. Yeah. Okay. Ten of cups. Some of you may not. Some of y'all are getting ready to cut. You don't want to be for for some. You don't want to be, you may be sad or, you know, you're tired of, of feeling left out. But for some of you, you just decided, like, you don't want a relationship with, with someone here. We got the Three of Swords and the Queen of Swords. This is a bitter, a bitter heifer. <laughs> she is scorned. She is damaged. Okay. You don't want to be with someone like that. We got the Ace of Cups and the Sun, okay? So you want something new. You want some positive, fresh energy. You want some, some good vibes. I'm getting like you want good vibes, okay? You're surprised that someone even wants to come back because there could have been some playing going on. There could have been some, some player player going on, some third-party energy going on, okay? A lot of sneaky stuff going on, so you might just be surprised that this person would even want to come back. But it's like... You don't, I feel like you don't want what they want. I feel like you got your eyes on somebody else. Here's this sun card again. Some of y'all are definitely dealing with a Leo. But I feel like you're ready to close this chapter, okay? It's like you got to force the chapter close, though. It's like somebody here just isn't understanding that it's over. So you have to, like, literally, like, slam the door shut. Okay, you got to literally like slam the door on this person because this person is going to keep running back. If you open up that door, that opportunity is just be a little bit. Okay, here this person come running back and you have to slam the door shut on them. Okay, you feel like whoever this water sign is, some of y'all are really attached to a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But you feel like this person is making effort. It's putting in some effort, okay? It's showing that, you know, they want to come together with you. I feel like you're willing to try this new thing with this water sign. <clears throat> For some of you, it's a water sign. It could be any sign, but I'm really picking up on Leo and Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You could be watching this person, okay? This person could be an Aries, but this, this person could be kind of like real bossy. You may like that about this person with this page of cups. But then I feel like you really care about this person. I feel like this is the person that you love. Okay. And you, I feel like intuitively, you feel like this is the right decision to make. The high priestess. Okay. I feel like you feel like this is the right decision to make. Okay. So it looks like you were kind of undecided before of like what people would think if you were to, um, 
if you were to give someone a second chance, somebody definitely wants a second chance. But this is something like you, you're in your head about it. Like you, you're constantly, you know, you're thinking about it. You know? You're thinking about it. How does this person view Cap Capricorn? Okay. We got lovers. Okay. Child. Wealthy man and privileged lady too. Okay. We got family room. This person wants a family with you. Okay, we got judification. Gift. This person wants to give you gifts or they like to gift you. For some of you, this could be like a, this person is at a distance with distant horizon. They think about you. Yeah, they think about you from a distance. Like some for some is this person is like at a distance. And we got a house. Somebody here works from home. Occupation and house. Okay, so somebody could this person could be like working from home. But I'm getting like this person wants a family with you. Like there could be children involved. Um they may view you as someone who's wealthy or very good looking. This person is very good looking and very well kept. Okay. Family room, gift, official person. This person wants to make things official with you. I'm getting like the two of you. Yeah, I was just getting ready to say that. I was just getting ready to say that there could be a marriage here. Because it's like two people are standing in front of a judge. And then marriage jumped out. For some of you, this is a marriage. You're married to this person. Possibly separated. There's a false person in the mix. Okay. Yes, this is. This is your soulmate. Oh, then we got courtship. There's a lot. Like, this person thinks of you very romantically. Like, they think about you in sexual ways. Like, they love it. Okay? It's like a spiritual journey. Okay? For some of you, it's a twin flame journey. Soulmate type of journey thing going on here. Yeah, they want to build generational wealth with you. Great fortune and family room. They want to build generational wealth with you. And they still want to make a lot, of, make some babies and love on you and hug on you and <laughs> lots of courting going on. <laughs> lots of courting going on. Yeah, they want to be the main female. There's children involved here. Like, I'm getting everything is legit. Courthouse, unexpected income. Why is official person here? Official person, mature man. They definitely, like, they want to make things official. They want to take things to the courthouse and get some papers signed. <laughs> like, they, they are, like, I'm getting, like, legal legally they want to make things official distant horizons they want to get married if you guys aren't married they want to get married they want to tie the knot they want to go to the courthouse get them papers signed up all of that they want all of that with you distant horizons occupation and they're that damn courtship again <laughs> but i'm getting like this person is at a distance but they're working Okay, they're working. Some someone here could be working at a distance, like they're away at work. Someone's house here.
concern and message. Okay, like they they do want to communicate with you. So there we go again. Privileged lady in courtship. Um, they may be in contact with you about there could be another person and that they could be asking you about or concerned about if you're sleeping with this other person. Okay, because we got courtship and privilege lady. Okay, but I got somebody feels like they're the main female. There's children involved here, but here's this privileged lady over here and courtship and message of concern. Okay, message and they're, they're sending messages about something that they're concerned about. Um, and it's about, I feel like there's a third party. They are concerned about, you know, if, if, if you're courting with this other person. Okay. All right, y'all. So y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below because I want to know. Y'all already know. <laughs> and as well, guys, if you guys would like to check out the items that I have on my website, guys, all of that information is going to be in the drop box below. All right. As well, guys, if you want to book a personal, all of that information on how to book a personal reading with me, guys, is in the drop box section below. All right. On the website, guys, um, this is a hot item here. This item has been selling like hotcakes, y'all. This is the um, Hamsa Evil Eye Bracelet. This is for protection against the, you know, jealousy, evil eye, things of such that nature. Um but a lot of people are, you know, this is used for protection, guys. Um, and it is currently available on the site. All items, if you uh, use the code TAKE20, if you use that on the checkout, guys, you can get 20% off your entire order. Okay? So head over to the website, guys. If you want to book that personal reading with me, I'm doing 10 minutes for $20. Okay? 10 minutes for $20. So you can reach out to me via email. And we'll set you up for your very own personal reading, all right? Um, until next time, guys, I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao.